True Team. Hey, man, I can't have taught you all about, man. The world is full of men that never try. People in general that just never fucking try, bro. You know, I was talking to my homeboy and shit, but I'm going to break this shit down to y'all, bro. I asked him, like, bro, shit, you get paid every week, bro. At For doing security, you get paid like 700 a week every Thursday. It depends on how your bank go. A study, and it's $16 an hour. A study, you working for $12 an hour, and you get paid every 7th to 22nd. So why? And I said, why would you do that when you could pay more money, get paid more money, and get paid on time, like every motherfucking week? That way, you know when you spend the money, you ain't got to worry about how I'm paying this bill, how I'm doing that, how I'm doing this. You know for sure you got money coming in every week, so you will be cool. You got your car paid off. You got everything. I'm going to tell y'all niggas right now, man. This nigga told me, no, nah, bro, I'm cool with my job I'm at right now. Niggas like that, bro who be comfortable and got no type of ambition, period, you're not going to fucking make it, bro. Because that just goes to show as simple as something like that, you fo See, I, I can't stand a nigga who focus on bitches more than they focus on their life, bro. If you can't take care of yourself and... and, and and but you want to take care of bitch, bro. You ain't never gonna be able to have no woman, bro, because you can't take care of yourself, bro. I always tell niggas this shit every day, bro. Make this shit make sense. A lot of niggas don't understand it, bro. I don't get how you are still stay. You are staying in one predicament, nigga. You 27, 28 in your life, and you want to be in the same predicament. Don't got no dreams, goals, nothing. A lot, like I always say, a lot of niggas be breathing for nothing, bro. Be in this motherfucking world breathing for nothing, my nigga, and don't really have a reason to get their life together. They have they they feel like they ain't got no reason to get their life together. They fat. They ain't they ain't getting they self up trying to work out every day. They ain't trying to elevate their mind. They ain't trying to make a business. They ain't trying to do nothing. A lot of niggas in this world are fucking slackers, bro. They are slackers, bro. Niggas in this world are slackers, bro. They rather they rather chase a bitch, put their happiness into a bitch versus putting their happiness into they self, and that's just stupid, bro. Niggas want relationships for no reason. Let me tell you something, bro. A lot of these bitches here is devious, bro. They devious than a motherfucker. A lot of women be unattractive. They care about their hair and nails being done, but their attitude is fucking bad. I'm telling you as a man right now, focus on the shit that you can control, and that's your motherfucking life, bro. Because fucking with a bitch, bro, will put you through some shit. I'm telling you, bro, especially a bitch that don't care about nothing but herself. And nothing but nothing. Use you for what she can and try to get over you for what she can instead of trying to help you. A lot of bitches say they want to help you, bro. But you never really, you never, like my uncle told me, you never really know a person until you start dealing with their ass down the line of shit. You never really know a person until you start dealing with them motherfuckers. So at the end of the day, bro, peep this. My brother, one of my brothers called me the other day. He was talking about our, the other nigga I used to fuck with or whatever. Now, he did some fuck shit. Now, I forgive you, but I never forget what you done. So I, I don't, I don't, some niggas are to the point where you cannot keep reinventing the same situation. If a nigga don't get it the one time, you're not supposed to keep reinventing that situation. If a nigga don't, if a nigga's not going where you going, you don't need to be around them, bro. Period, bro. A lot of niggas focus on the wrong shit. Are you willing to die to make your life be the better, better version of yourself? Or are you willing to die for no reason and be known for nothing? Niggas, I got a different mindset, bro. A lot of niggas, I, I get sick of... It's like you dealing with niggas in high, high school. Shout out to a uh, homegirl, bro. She said that shit. It's like you dealing with niggas in high school, bro. It's like a high school reunion all over again. Motherfuckers talk about bitches. Motherfuckers talk about they want to do this, they want to do that, and they never doing it. You, you can't sit back and just dream. That's what my little brother just told me, and that's what I always say to him. You can't just sit back and dream and expect your motherfucking dreams to come true for you. It's not going to happen, bro. It's not going to fucking happen. Niggas, niggas, niggas lack of, niggas be slacking, bro. Like, that's niggas' problem. You will focus on a bitch more than you will focus on your situation verbally and, and physically and mentally and, and how you look. Like, niggas, I, I know you look at yourself in the mirror and be depressed at how you look. And you knowing that you can change something about that when you stop focusing on shit that don't fucking matter outside your positive circle. I don't like bringing negative shit into my positive circle, but I'm going to let y'all know every day ain't fucking positive, bro. We try to be positive during the day. A lot of motherfuckers, like, I know a lot of people said, man, they just been taking time trying to figure out they self again and realize what the fuck, because a lot of people lost they self during a lot of times, bro, and I understand, bro, but I tell niggas, you, you slacking and thinking you working at the same job for 20 years, it can't be me. It can't be me. It can't be me. I was telling my nigga, like, bro, your father is like this type of man. He's a value man, and women value him because of the fact of what he has to offer. What he has to offer. That is because because the end of the day, when all women want you is because you have something to offer, and you're that type of dude. Because 
you have something to bring to the table on top of that. They know how to bow down and respect you as the man that you are. If you a nigga that literally just think a woman, you want a woman that's going to take care of you, do what she's supposed to do. There's women out here that do that. Don't get me wrong. But they're not going to do that shit unless you're not showing what you're going to do for them also. A man got to show his teeth first, bro. A lot of times, bro, as fucked up as it sounds, bro, but this is true. Niggas be slackers, man. And that's all I be saying, bro. Niggas who think on one level instead of a thousand is not going to make it nowhere. You're not going to make it anywhere. That's all I'm saying, bro. A lot of niggas have this problem where they think everything's supposed to go their way and it's necessarily not supposed to go their way. They don't know. They don't understand. Like, you have to get up off your ass and make this life happen for you. Because ain't nobody going to like no fucking match and, 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 and make shit happen. Especially for you young niggas that got your mama titty in your mouth. But that's not good either, bro. Your mama have you having your mama titty in your mouth, bro. And that's all, and that be the parents' fault. When you baby your kids so goddamn much, bro. He or she, they start to become and collapse to you to where they don't want to do nothing, go out on the world on their own, learn different shit, try to take responsibilities for their own actions. A lot of motherfuckers don't understand that shit, bro. They, they, they don't understand it, bro. And that's what make that shit, that's what make your son a girl for real. Because he don't understand you not letting him learn his lesson versus you keep saving him from his lesson. That's not helping him. That's, that's saving him from things he's supposed to learn. If he don't learn this shit, he's going to keep going through the same shit and never be happy. Whatever he's in. Whatever he's doing. A motherfucker who go home, play the game all day, and don't do nothing else with their life and trying to figure out where they want to go from here, from here, you're not going to do nothing. You're wasting time. If you ain't trying to make money off the game, if you're not trying to do something, my nigga, I'm saying what it is because, bro, niggas got to understand because there's a lot of niggas out here that does that same shit. They play the game all day. They don't fix their life. They don't try to make themselves better. They waste time all goddamn day. Fat. Don't want to get better in their life. Don't want to succeed. Don't want nothing. Niggas just sit down and don't do nothing with their life. That shit is stupid. Get your motherfucking mind together. Because any nigga who would take a less job versus a job that pays more money weekly, you just told me what type of person you are, and that's not cool, bro. I never seen a nigga who just comfortable. That's the problem with us. We're comfortable. Stop that shit. Peace. Follow me at actual truth underscore. Follow me at tg.truth. Like, comment, subscribe to actual truth. Peace.